Hi, I'm Divra Dahab, your expat coach and intercultural psychologist. Today, I'm going to talk about something that is quite common for people moving abroad, which is moving while retiring. Uh, many times, the retire retirement dream has to do with living in another country. Sometimes it's related to cost of a living. Many times it's related to affordable health care um, and many other issues. Now, we're go I'm going to talk about some topics here and I'm going to propose uh, an exercise that you can do to make sure that you are well prepared for this double transition, which is a cultural transition and also a um, life transition in terms of your profession. Now, the first thing that I would like to um, mention is that retirement uh, can be very hard regardless if you are moving abroad or not. And when you are moving abroad, it is quite um, easy to blame, quote unquote, your struggles on the external factors, which is, you know, your environment is different, you don't speak the language many times, when actually your issues are also, or maybe even predominantly, related to the retirement. Now, uh, many of us have uh, associated our identities even to our profession. If you meet someone new, uh, what you do for a living is pretty much the second question after your name. So it, it's one of the things that defines us. Um, also being a parent or um, other roles in our lives help define us. And when we suddenly lose this quote unquote label, we can feel quite uh, lost. So it's easy to um, put the blame, as I mentioned, on the outside, it's external, when actually it's an inside um, transition related to the new status as being retired. Now, um, retirement usually as cultural transitions have a honeymoon period where you are enjoying the life of freedom, of carefree, if you are financially comfortable even more so, and eventually, typically, doesn't have to, it doesn't happen to everyone, but typically it falls into a routine. And that's when both the transition, the cultural transition and the retirement transition. And typically when it falls into this routine is when the problems start to arise. So be mindful when you start, <coughs> excuse me, when you start in this uh, um routine mode and some signs are you know being irritated you might be um, you might feel kind of restless um, you might miss home a lot you might try to contact for more uh, former colleagues every it pans out differently for for everyone now let me go into the suggestion of the exercise I would like for you to do if you feel this is something that would help you. Now, the exercise is related to the roles in our lives, right? And I would suggest drawing a circle, a big circle, with little circles inside it. And each of these little circles are the roles in your life. So you can, um, you can be a wife or a husband, you can be uh, a parent, you can be uh, a, a child, a daughter, or a son, you can be um, uh, a professional, uh, you, you can be um, a, a caregiver, you, all of the roles that you perform in your life. And make two circles like these. One is what you had as a role before you retired, and the other one is what you had as a goal after you've retired. And the size of these uh, circles inside the big circle will be proportional to the, um, the size of these roles in your life. So let's say, um, or an, an example is when you have a child and they're newborn, the role of mother is huge. 
because you know most of your time during the day is to be a mother and as time goes by the that role might be might shrink a little bit and you know the professional might grow and the wife might grow a little bit um, and so step number one big circle with little circles in it and this first circle is the roles of your life before you retired circle number two the roles of your life after you retired and inside this big circle the little circles with the roles and the size of these circles inside the big circle represent are proportional to the size of this role in your life now when you put these two circles together you will see the difference um, and you will see if and, and take a look inside of you and see if you are happy with that difference, if that's something that you like, if that's something, if something is missing, if, if you would like to have more of something or less of something. Now, this is a visual way to perceive the changes in our lives. Um, sometimes we go in autopilot and we don't really um, assimilate what's going on. So this is a good way to take a step back and you will see the first circle of how it was before retirement with all your roles, um, the little circles inside with the different sizes, and the second circle with all the little circles inside and how these roles, the size and their, uh, their dimension and also what they are have changed. Now this is uh, an exercise that will help you reflect on that and if you do feel there's something missing, you want more of something, less of something else, how can you incorporate that? How can you eliminate that? What can you do to create the life closer to what you desire? So this was uh, an explanation. I hope it was clear. If you have any questions, um, let me know. I hope you like this. And um, this can also be applied to many other situations, but retirement is really um, an important one because it's a major change in our lives. And when we're moving countries as well, that's even magnified. So I hope this video was useful. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know and I'll see you next time.